Hello everybody, Tim Crane here. Today I'm going to talk about a deal that I did uh, a while back. It was a foreclosure property. It was listed with a real estate company here in Tennessee. Um, it is a six bedroom, three bath home that sits on five acres with a pond. Um, it's about 2,400 square foot house. And the house... When I first saw it, it was listed with the real estate company. And so I went over and looked at it. First, I pulled the tax card on it. And the tax card said it had $130,000 tax value, um, which kind of excited me a little bit. Of course, that's not set in stone, but, you know. Um, 2,400 square feet was built in 1986. Um, the last time it sold before I bought it, I bought it for $55,500. Um, it sold for 121 the time before that, and the time before that it sold for 160,000. So I felt pretty good getting it at 55,000. Um, I pulled the tax card, and this is kind of the overhead aerial view of the property. Here's the big pond. Here's the home. Comes in like this. Um, when I I when I went to buy the property, I went to the local bank. Um, I went down to the bank and I talked to the lady down there and I was in pretty good with the lady at the bank. Um, she, she used to work with me and when I would find a property that had lots of equity in it, like this one for sale for 55 and has a tax value of 130, she would do a construction loan and loan me all the money. And so what I did on this one was I asked her to loan me 70,000 bucks on this one. And she did. They, um, when I bought the property... I got a check back for about twelve thousand five hundred bucks after closing costs and everything. Um, I spent about two grand fixing the house up a little bit. It needed some vinyl siding was missing, and I cleaned up the property a little bit, and I just did a few things to make it look a little bit more appealing. So I, I stuck ten grand in my pocket when I bought the place, um, and and now I've got a mortgage of seventy grand on the property. I believe I carried the note for about four or five months, and then I got a call from a lady in California. They just sold their place. They wanted to come here and look at this one, and I had it on the market for, I think I, st- I started at 119, 119000 dropped it to one hundred nine, and then I was down to 99000 They called me up. They wanted it. We negotiated a price of 95000 bucks is what we negotiated 94 94,000 bucks is what we negotiated um and so they came and before they before that before they bought the property from me they came to look at the house and we had a contract on it and we were going to close and they had moved into the house already when they moved from california and i said hey you know you're not really supposed to do that i don't really care as long as we close on it but I don't want to have to, you know, have any problems. And so we went to the bank and the bank was having a little problem getting them financed. They had about 25,000 bucks to put down, but the bank was um, giving them a little bit of a hard time. And so I ended up reducing the price about $3,000 more. I think we came to an agreement at $91,500, something like that. Um, And we closed on the deal. I, uh, I sold I sold the property for ninety one thousand, and it I ended up making total making about thirty five thousand dollars on this deal, um, ten grand when I first bought it, and a, about twenty grand or so when I when I sold it. Um, it was a pretty good deal. Um, it was in a it was about an hour or so away from where I live, so it was a little bit on the edge of where I, you know my territory. But um, it w- turned out to be a pretty good deal overall. And here's the thing about this property is after those people moved in it, they lived there for about three or four years, and the bank started having problems collecting uh, collecting the, the payment from them. And so the bank foreclosed on it. And I got a call from the lady at the bank, and she said, Hey, you're, would you be interested in buying that house again? And I said, uh, okay, well, you know, what kind of price are you guys going to put on it? And she said, uh, you know, you guys just you just need to make us an offer. And so I said, well, you got to give me an idea of what you guys are wanting. And she said, well, we're wanting about 60000 for it. And I went over and looked at it. And the house, I don't know what they did to it in three or four years, but they kind of messed it up. 
Um, they tore the building down out back. The grass was all grown up. I mean, there was a, no kitchen cabinets. They had done a little remodeling, didn't do a very good job of it. And so I went and looked at the house and I was like, wow, it needs a lot of work. So I went back to the bank and knowing that they were just kind of in a situation, I said, hey, would you, I'd be willing to offer you 40,000 bucks. And they accepted it. Um, but now my $40,000 offer also had a 5% commission in there. So I, I got $2,000 back as well. So really got it for $38,000. Um, the reason why I bought it again was because of my buddy Hector. And him and his wife lived in Louisiana. And they had seen pictures of when the first time I sold the house. And they just fell in love with it. They loved it. They loved where it was at. They loved how it looked and the pond and everything. And they told me, hey, man, I, I, I'd love to have that house. And so they told me this for a while. And when it came back on the market, I called them up and said, hey, heck, you know, would you guys really like to have that house again? Because I can get it. And they said, yeah. And so I ended up making a deal with the bank and I bought the property for 40 grand. Um, I turned around. I sold it, you know, because this is business. Um, I sold it to my buddy Hector for 60 grand um, on payments. He gave me some money down. He's making payments to us. And so it's it's a it's a good deal for him. Him and his family moved from where they were at in Louisiana. They were paying like seven fifty a month in rent, um, and they were just living in a little three bedroom property. And they said that they didn't have any yard, and it was just kind of crowded, and there really wasn't that much work there. And so um, yeah, they were willing to move up here. And so they re you know by buying this property from us, they actually reduced their monthly payment their, their their payment was 750 and they now pay about 650 um and they've got a great big house and five acres in the country hector's got deer in his backyard all the time he tells me all the time man i love it here the kids love the schools here it's so great nobody bothers us nobody messes with us it's it's just a, a an awesome place to live and so um this is a property that I actually purchased twice and and now we still own it and we're selling it on payments now but uh it was, it was a pretty good deal. I mean, it turned out to be a pretty good deal for us. And uh, that's one of my deals that I did. You guys keep watching my videos. And thanks for watching.